What's going on everybody? Welcome to the fourth part of my uh, Photoshop for Web Developers uh, series. Um, this time around we're going to be looking at uh, actually cutting out an image and the uh, different ways of extracting that information. And so just to dive right in, we're going to go back into our Photoshop file um, and we're going to be cutting out, let's cut out some of these, um, our buttons down here. Oh, um, So uh, there, are tool to, uh, <laughs> there are two tools um, designed to help you actually cut out an image or, or extract an image from a file and that would be the crop tool and the slice tool. And so um, we're going to go kind of the ghetto way uh, at first with just the crop tool. The crop tool is kind of designed um, to be what it is. Um, you're wanting to crop out a large section um, and just toss away um, all the excess and so what I'm going to do real fast I'm just going to use the crop tool and highlight around closely this button uh, or this this badge and uh, thanks to having snap to enabled it's going to um, snap to kind of the the corners of the the layer I'm going to press enter and it's going to process for a little bit and it's going to remove everything around the the uh, wow. I hear my hard drive clicking. That could be bad. Um, so it's going to actually remove everything around it. I uh, I think if I try to move stuff around here, it's not like it's 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 completely removed um, the rest of the PSD around it. Um, so this isn't exactly very maintainable um, because you're nuking everything. Um, this is really more of something, let's say you have a, uh, a, point, a POV image that you're wanting to just trim off the corners or something like that. Uh, you'll want to use this for like an existing image. It's not very practical for um, a, 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 a cutting out a PSD. So the other method we have for cutting out an, an, uh, images from a Photoshop file is by using the slice tool. Now um, this is a little bit, uh, it's, I would consider this a little bit more maintainable of, uh, of a solution because um, you can create your slices and actually save them to the PSD so that um, if you come back and need to make minor tweaks everything's already kind of there and set up for you. So I'm just quickly setting up some guides so I can quickly uh, select out our elements so I'm going to right click on our crop tool and select the slice tool. It looks like there's already some slices in this PSD. So I'm just going to delete those real fast. I think I'm deleting them. There we go. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so I can get uh, make sure my corners are nice and refined. I'm going to select it. And thanks to snap, the Snap 2 feature, it's going to just kind of get the corners. And then this one. And web design. And this one. Alright, so um, if you look at it, what you will notice is that it's generated, uh, we, we have a uh, several user selected slices. Uh, user created slices um, around amazing 24 hour web and mobile but it's also created several other slices around um, the objects so if I was to go in and save this um, it would actually um, create kind of uh, zone it out and save each one of those uh, sections as a physical file um, typically we don't want that um, and we'll go over that in a later video for when we are uh, saving for web um, so what else what else can we do with these slices well um if you just save it uh out with uh like um what i mentioned earlier it's going to auto generate the names and so if you uh if you right click on your slice tool you can go to select slice tool you can also hold control and it'll turn into your select slice tool you can't really see it very well um let's see nope my cursor disappears um it's the slice tool with a little arrow next to it and so I'm going to select my slice and if I double click on it it's going to bring up the slicing options window there's a lot of stuff in here that really doesn't apply a whole lot to us um, 
because it's a little bit older of a method of cutting out stuff where um, for generating HTML and all that stuff. From here, we can uh, change the name, um, and so the the options we actually care about are the name, and then um, we can also fine tune the x and y and height and width. So let's say, for instance, on this uh, with these four images, I can double click in and look at the height and width and make sure that they all match. So inside of my CSS, I can create one class with the height and width for all of them. So from here, I'm going to just go ahead and name this amazing. Now when I go to save it, it's going to automatically name this particular slice amazing.png or jpeg. Um, and so those are the two main, uh, main uh, ways using Photoshop's tools to create um, uh, 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 an image. Um, there's one other method that I've kind of started doing, and uh, this is th this is not overly maintainable. It requires a lot of reverting to the original state of the PSD, and that's converting all your layers into smart objects. So to do that, um, we're going to go over to our move tool. Our move tool is a pretty generic um, uh, pointer tool that um, will auto select layers. Um, you can have it select layers or select groups. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to mobile. I'm going to click inside of it. And um, I'm going to use our um, eye tool, or the, the eye next to the layer, to kind of figure out where, um, where each layer, um, what each layer does, so I can actually capture this whole icon. Um, and so uh, the uh, down the the folder tree, I can see that this particular one is uh, is the parent most layer that um, has everything I need. I'm going to right click on it, and there is a convert to smart object. So what that does is it compresses all of its um, sub um, layers into one. And then uh, I'm going to right click on it and do edit contents. That's going to bring us into a PSB file. Um, and it's, um, it's going to trim around it. It's only going to include what's a part of any of the layers in there. And so what I could do from here is just automatically save it and export it into a, a PNG. Nothing, nothing overly complicated. The downside to this is that if you get too many of these um, smart objects in your side uh, Photoshop file, it's going to really blow the size of the file. Um, uh, I do this as kind of a quick temporary thing. I, like I said earlier, I usually uh, will hit F12 after doing this just to clean out the, the, the history on Photoshop and make sure that everything's um, fresh in the way that um, it was provided to me. So that sums up um, actually preparing an image for cutout. Um, this next time around, we're going to be looking at um, uh, looking at uh, actually working inside of layers. Um, there's a lot of stuff in that uh, inside of the tree view with the layers, blending options, showing and hiding layers, and so um, we look forward to to, to showing that. And uh, we will see you on the next one.